I used to be a pro, you know. When I was 20, I went to the U.S. Olympic swim trials, but I didn't make it. And what happened, Mr. Davis? Jim. What happened at the trials, Jim? I pushed myself too hard. I hyperextended my arm. I could keep form, but I could not keep speed. And how are you enjoying the pool here? Oh, it's fine. It's been a week since you admitted yourself under strong advice from your previous employer, Grimwood Middle School, where you coach swimming. Can you tell me what happened there? Goddamn little turds don't know how to do a backstroke. I had taught at that wretched school for 35 years. I was fed up. Took the first girl I saw and threw her in the deep end. And then I jumped in with all my clothes on and showed him how to do it. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. I see. Mr. Davis, my colleagues... Jim. Jim. My colleagues and I have poured over our notes. We think we may have a solution, or at least an idea as to how to treat you. We believe that you may be suffering from very low self-esteem, which eventually caused you to project that in obvious anger. Do you agree with that? Well, you're the doc, doc. Very well. I have a little surprise for you then. And what's that? This is Mr. Feelgood. I've used him on many of my patients in the past, and he makes them feel better about themselves. Well, I know I've cracked, but... Uh... Just give him a chance. All right, I'll give it a try. Wasn't very nice, Mr. Feel Good. I'm sorry. Sorry that you're such a crackpot jackass. Hey. I don't understand. You don't understand? Let me lay it to you straight, Flabby. You're washed up. A has-been. You like swimming? Then why don't you go under and never come up? Do us all a favor, Jim, and die. Hey! Talk to me, you stupid toy! Talk to me, damn it!
Mr. Davis. Looks like you recovered nicely with very little difficulties. They almost could not resuscitate you, so you're very lucky to be back. I will have you know that we're going to be watching you a lot more closely this time. Do you have any questions? Yeah, what? Do you ever smile? No. The, the bear. What about the bear? The bear drove me to it. Drove you to it? What do you mean? Well, don't give me that bull. The bear talks. Uh, I squeeze its arms and he talks to me. Mr. Davis, this bear does not have that capability, see? No, no, the left one, the left one. See? Let's call it a day.